What is going on everybody? My name is Radhi and you're watching my channel Radhi the Brand. Today we're going to develop and publish this gym website using the Editor X platform. If you want to check it out, there will be a link in the description below. This is a sponsored video by the Editor X. Thank you very much Editor X for sponsoring this video. And now before we begin, if you want to follow along, there will be a link to the Editor X platform in the description below. To get started, all you need to do is register an account and then you can follow along with me. And the last thing I wanted to say is enjoy the process. If you have any questions, please comment below. Don't forget to like this video and consider subscribing. Now let's jump on the computer and get started. Hey, welcome everybody and let's get started. As you can see in front of me, I have Adobe XD opened and this is the design that we are going to develop today from scratch. I'm going to use Adobe XD as a reference and this will allow me to quickly copy and paste some of the content and if we ever need to export something we can do this straight from Adobe XD which is great and just plug it in into Editor X. Saying this, if you want to follow along there will be a link to the Editor X platform in the description below. So click on that, register an account, and then you should be good to go. Once you do that, the Editor X will guide you of creating your new website. But if you see the dashboard like I have in here, then all we have to do is click on create a new website. I've already created one, but let me guide you through this super quickly. So click on create a new website choose the Editor X platform, just because we're pros like this. And then we need to select what kind of website we want to create. And today I'm going to be creating a fitness website. And the last step would be to click on this blank canvas because we'll be starting from scratch. Once you're at this stage, the first thing that you want to do is save your project. Click save here at the top right corner. Once you do that, this will guide you through your domain name setup and you can either choose the free wix.com domain name. For me, that's radithebrand.editorx.io and then the website name or you can connect your own domain name, which is super easy to do. But I've already done this and I'm just going to use the Wix domain for this project. So I'm going to close this and just go to the website that I started earlier. So let me click on edit and now we can start working on our project. Let's start by changing the topography and the colors. To do this, if you navigate here at the top left where we have this A icon theme manager, you will see topography and colors. For the topography today, I will be using poppins, which is actually already set, but I do want to make a few modifications. So I'm going to click on this and then inside here is where you can select your font. And also, if you wish, you can upload a custom one as well. So I'm going to leave this the way it is, but the only thing that I'm going to change is the color. So because our website is quite dark, I'm going to have the topography as white. So to do this, I can click on the color icon here and just select white and then apply theme. And then I'm going to have to do that for the next heading here as well. So I'm going to complete this super quickly for all of the headings. And I'm not so sure where I'm going to have to change the uh, font size. I don't think that I'm going to have to do that, but we'll see how it goes. And then let's go with this one as well, white. This one needs to be white as well. And heading six needs to be white as well. And we should be good to go with the headings. And underneath the headings, we have different styles for the paragraphs. So what I want to do is I'm going to change this to another font. So, it's a, so the design is a little bit more interesting. And I'm going to change this one to Proxima Nova like so, and this is set to 18 pixels, but I actually want it to be 16. So let's do one six, and then let's change this to white as well. Save, and then let's do the same for the others. So yeah, let's do the same for the others. I'm going to select Proxima Nova, just because I want, even if I select another one by mistake, I want the uh, 
I want the paragraphs to be exactly the same. So let's do that. And let's apply for the last one as well. So proxy one over. And then this needs to be 16 pixels and it needs to be white. Apply team and we're good to go with the topography. And the next thing that we can change is the colors. So under colors, we have a few different options. The first thing that I want to change is the background color of our website. And to do this, I can click on this one here. And then I'm just going to choose black for this one and apply. As you can see, your background color changed straight away. And for the actions, oh, I didn't apply it. Okay, let me change it to black again, apply, apply, and we're good to go. And for the actions, I want this to be pure white, which is already set to pure white, and that's good. If you have other colors, or if you want to set up more colors in here, you can do that. And also you can save this library if you wish to reuse it on another website. And if I click on design libraries, you will see that I've already created one previously. So if I hover over it, it kind of changes the colors for me and that could save you a little bit of time, which is pretty cool. We're pretty much done with the team manager. So we can close this and just save the website. There are two ways of saving the website. One by clicking the save button here, or you can just do control and C on your keyboard or command and C if you're on Mac and that will save your project as well. And you can preview the project from here. And of course you can publish it and make it live with this button which we will do at some point. Okay, now let's start from top to bottom, which means that we need to start with the header. Now the header is actually set as a site master, which means that it can be reused on other pages. And if you decide to change your header at some point, it will actually, the change will actually apply to all pages, which is fairly useful. And now let's start by changing our logo. If we click on the header, here on the right side, we have the inspector and in the inspector, we can change all sorts of things such as the size, the scroll options, the paddings, and also the design. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that the header has no background. So this is set to zero. And also I want to start by changing the logo, which is here. It's hard to see now because we changed the color, but if you hover over this vector art, you should be able to click on it and then click on change vector art. Once we do this, you can either select art from the library, but of course I'm going to upload my own logo by clicking upload media. Now I've already exported my logo as an SVG file. So I'm going to drag this into here and have it uploaded. This should take a second. And once we are done, as you can see, it's my logo is white, but and it's hard to see in here. If you're going to have a lot of files in your library, you could actually sort your files by tags as well, which is fairly useful. But anyways, let's click on this and add to page. And as you can see, we have the logo in here, which is pretty cool. And we have the menu. Okay, now let's focus on the menu. And to do this, we can click on the menu. And what I was thinking is, I was thinking of actually adding one more item just so we can design this a little bit better. Just because with one item, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. And to do this, I'm just going to randomly add a link. So let's say a web page or whatever. And I'm just going to do HTTPS, then rally.co.uk or whatever. Later on, we'll add some real links but this will work for now, just for the demo. And instead of new link, let's just say about. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because we are currently on the homepage and this is the selected menu. And that's why this is a slightly gray color, but this one here is black and we need to change this. So if I was to click on the menu and go to the inspector, click on the design tab, we can start changing the design from here. And I'm, what I'm going to do is with the scroll bar here, just so we can see, I'm going to move the scroll bar on the right side and we can start modifying them. The drop down background, I'm gonna leave as the foot. Then corners, we're not gonna have any rounded corners. Shadow is absolutely fine the way it is. And text, text is the one that I want to focus on. So let's change the text color to white first of all. And I'm going to move this in here so you can see. And that's looking already a lot better. And then theme, 
that's absolutely fine. The font we can select in here, and I'm actually thinking of leaving this as popping semi boat is looking cool, or we can have it. Actually, I would like to change the font to be poppins, but maybe the extra light. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. And for the font size, I'm going to leave this as 16 pixels, and I could make this a little bit bolder if I wish to. I mean, yeah, I'm going to leave the default and I'm happy with this. Now we can also mess around with the spacing, but I'm not going to do that. Let's focus on the hover tab now. For the hover, I want to change this to be something close to white, but not exactly white. Um, so maybe this gray color, or we can select a custom one. Maybe I can go to like this gray color. Let's add this and that's looking cool. So let me close this and for the clicked one, I'm going to change it to maybe a darker one and let's see how this looks. So I'm going to save this and let's preview it super quickly. As you can see, the home page is slightly darker because this is the selected one and the about one is slightly lighter. And I think there is a slight hover, but the color difference is not good enough to actually for you to actually see it. But anyways, this is how you can edit your menu. As you can see, the menu is now looking good, but if you go to tablet mode, uh, we don't have anything. We can't see the hamburger menu, and if you go to mobile, we can't see that as well. And the reason for this is because we actually changed the background color and it's now pretty hard to see the elements. So I do know that the hamburger menu is here, so you can select it and you can start editing it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to tablet mode or mobile mode and then select the inspector. And then we can go to the design tab and start changing things. So for example, I want to change the color of this. And to do this, I can go to fill color and change it to white. As you can see, the hamburger menu is now showing up. And if I wanted to change everything inside it, I can click on open menu and then I can change everything from here. So if I want to change the container background color, I can click on it and change it from here. As you can see, the background changes, but I'm going to keep this as black. And then if I wanted to change the actual links inside here, I can click on them and then change them from inside here. So the color, maybe I can set to white like so, and you can set the submenu color maybe to white as well. Like so, we probably won't have submenus, but it's nice to have a setup just so you don't wonder what's going on. For the typography, I'm actually not happy with this. I'm thinking of just setting it to uh, poppins. And maybe we can just do the poppins extra light. Let's have a look at how this looks. And maybe we can set this to 16, which is fine. Oh, actually, this is actually this is for the submenu so i need to go up and change it from here so this will be poppins and i'm gonna send and i'm gonna change it to poppins extra light and i'm going to put this as 16. i don't know if this is going to be too small but of course you can also change the spacing a little bit so we can change it the vertically like so i'll make it nicely to tap on and maybe we do need the text to be slightly bigger here by the looks of it just so it's easy to see and click on and the last thing that i wanted to show you for the menu is the close button so we need to click on the close button here as well and change the color for that as well so let's set it to white and let's save this now if you go to the preview you will see that we're now getting the hamburger menu if you go up we are getting the normal menu. Then if we go down, we're getting the hamburger menu. And if we click on it, this expands nicely with a really cool animation. And you can see the links in here. And we have the close button. So this is all fully responsive and super nice. Okay, before we finish the header, there is one more thing that I want to do uh, before we move on. And this is, I want to make sure that the header is over this section here. So what I mean by this is, if I was to add an image, for example, let's go to images, and it doesn't really matter what the image is, and I'm just going to put the image as full screen, stretch, and as you can see, the image is 
inside here, inside the second section, and we have the header on top. So what I want to do is I want to have the header, just like in the design, I want to have the header on top of the section. And to do that, it's actually fairly simple. We can select the header, select the header, then go here on the right side where the layout tab is. And then here at the bottom, we have scroll. So if you click on this, we want the scroll effect to be set to fixed. And then if you scroll down, I want to make sure that this overlap next section is clicked. So as you can see, this now overlaps our section and this is just the way I want it. And we could also set a fill color. So when we scroll down, for example, if some of the areas are slightly lighter than a header, maybe the white text, which we have here, won't be visible. So to make sure that the text is always readable, we could add the fill text. And I'm going to set this fill text somewhere around 40, which is like a very transparent black color. So if I was to save this and preview it, you see that the head is fixed on top of our section. And if I was to scroll down, you will see that we get this really nice uh, effect, which adds the 40% black color on top. And that would make the header readable on those sections. Let me expand this and edit the website again. So let's save this and focus on the next section, which will be actually creating this full screen section. If I was to drag this to the bottom like this, so we have a little bit more room like so. Okay, let's start by changing the picture first of all. So if you click on the picture, and by the way, I made the picture full screen by clicking on this button here on stretch and stretch. If you select the image, then you can click change image. And in here we have a couple of options. We can choose media from Wix, which is pretty cool. They have a lot of professional photography, or I always like to use Unsplash. Let's find the image. So I'm going to look for gym photography. And if you scroll down, hopefully I'll find it super quickly. I might speed up this process if it takes too long, but here we go, here is the image. So this is the one that I want. If I click on the image and then update it, that should update the image for me. As you can see, it's exactly the same as the design. And if we were to click on this section, and the next thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that this section takes the full screen. And to do this, we can go back. If we go over this blue box here and click on the section, we want to change some of the settings and the settings are here in the inspector on the right side. So first of all, instead of having minimum of 500 pixels, what I'm going to do is remove this to none and I'm going to set the height to viewport height and I'm going to set this to 100. So as you can see, this is now full screen. And if we save this and publish it, for example, I could go and view the website and this should be now full screen. As you can see, it's full screen. But if I was to visit this on a smaller device, let's say something like a phone or whatever, as you can see, it's still full screen, which is great. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, let's go back now and have a look at how we can do this dark fade effect. So technically speaking, I could have just exported this image with the fade effect and import it into Editor X and that would have worked fine. But what I want to do is I actually want to grab this gradient from here from Adobe XD, which is, which is going to be an SVG gradient. So if I was to, so if I was to copy this gradient and paste it somewhere around here, what I can do is shrink that down quite a bit like so and I can export this. I can make this one pixel in width if you want to save space or let's just make it 10 just, is, just so it's easy to grab. But, but if I was to grab this and actually export it, so export selected and I export it as, and I export it as SVG. So let's go for minified and I'm going to save on my desktop. Now I can add the SVG on top of this image by going the add elements and then shape. And obviously we need to change this. So if we change basic shape, we can go to upload media and I can just drag the shape that we just exported, which is SVG. 
and here it is in here so i just called the hero of fate dot svg you can put your tags and so on and add this to the page and here it is now what i want to do is i want to repeat this from the left to the right and from the top to the bottom so it takes the full screen and to do this we can click on the setting here make sure that you unclick this keep original uh, proportions and as you can see this has now kind of like widened the svg so if i select this and go to the inspector i can start messing with this and for example i want this to be in the middle so i can undock this from the top I, I can remove the margins from here and I can remove the margins from the top and what I want to do is I want to make sure that this is 100% in height let's have a look 100% and as you can see this is taking 100% of the section and I also want to change the width to be 100% as well and as you can see this has now taken the full width of my section and the menu is still on top but as you can see we have a little bit of a problem with the home button here maybe that needs to be changed up a little bit so i could click on it super quickly and just modify it so that would be clicked i believe yeah and then we can maybe make it slightly like if we select let's select the custom color and just choose one like so uh, it's very close to the other one now but maybe this one maybe this color will do so let's close it and click on regular yeah there is a little bit of a difference um, I wish it was slightly like maybe around there okay let's remove this and yeah there is a little bit of a difference maybe we can mess around with this a little bit later but anyways the overlay is now working perfectly fine and if we go to the layers we can always go to this section here which i can double click on and rename to hero section and then this this could be our vector vector gradient and we have our image so what i can do is if i ever need to update the website i can just click on the image and just change it and the overlay will be still there so for example if i wanted to update it to this one it will update the overlay will be still there so that means that i don't have to go to photoshop and manipulate the images all the time so this is working perfectly fine and now we need to add a couple of more layers such as the text in here the paragraph the button and the scroll now for the text unfortunately i don't think it's possible to do the outline text in editor x but we could export this as svg because it's using the poppins font and we've already added that font this could also work out as text so let me show you what i mean if i still to select this section and let's go to file and then export selected we select SVG, minified, and export it to desktop. Now, if you go back and add a new element, so new element, shape, and because it's a vector, we can drag this in the middle, and let's change the basic shape, upload media, and let me drag the title that I just saved. And here it is, then I can add it to the page, and here is the title looking pretty good so in this way instead of having a boring text you can do custom stuff with svgs but if you are worried about seo um let me quickly show you something if i was to open this svg in a code editor so so open with visual studio code for example you will see that if you scroll down um it's somewhere around here it's gonna say oh it's minified so it's all in one line but somewhere around here here we go it's using the font family font uh, it's using the font family poppins which we've already included in our project so hopefully it wouldn't break and also you can see the text so hopefully so technically speaking that should be recognized by search engines but then again if you are worried this being an svg instead of a heading 
then you can always go with the heading and it will still look cool but I quite like this outline effect with the drop shadow and so on. So I'm going to keep this and one thing that I notice is that we have this really big uh, box and what we can do is I believe that we can shrink it down like so and everything stays proportionally which is great and at this point obviously the SVG scales down which we don't really want so I'm gonna keep it somewhere around here 181 and just center align this for now and we should be good to go with this the next bit that we have is this paragraph here so I'm gonna quickly grab the text Control and C and let's go and add a new element this element will be a paragraph so let's add a paragraph in here and uh, technically speaking that should have been white but I'm not sure why it comes up as uh, black text because I've already changed it but anyways we could change it from here as well so I can just select white make sure that it is center aligned and so on and what else uh, I think that's all looking good in here you can choose which style of paragraph you want but I'm happy with either one or two because I think I put them to be the same so saying this let's scale this down a little bit like so let's push it to the middle and that's looking okay but one thing that I would prefer to do is to put uh, to space the text a little bit so what I'm gonna do is edit text and then somewhere around here we have the line spacing so this is auto spacing which I kind of don't want so I'm gonna unclick this and put this to be I don't know, roughly 1.6 like so I don't know yeah that looks so much better to me uh, it's a little bit more readable so let's leave it like that and the next thing that we need to do is recreate this button here so I'm gonna copy the text quickly find out more and to drag a button we can go to element and then we can drag a new button like so now there are actually quite a lot of styles of buttons so if you click add new element and if you go to buttons you can choose all sorts of buttons from here or you can create a custom one just like I did so I'm gonna go with the custom one for now and just modify super quickly to show you so I'm gonna expand this to make it a little bit bigger easier to press I guess and then if you want to change the styles of this button we can go to the inspector and then design inside here we can change the background which I'm happy with it being transparent the border is what I want to change so I want to change the border to white then that would be 100% uh, the width hmm, potentially 2 let me have a look at the original design so if I double click so yeah the width is 2 let's click on 2 it makes it a little bit bolder the corners are fine the shadow is fine the text I want to change in order to be able to see a little bit better to white and let me have a look and maybe everything else is looking good of course we need to change the text in a second but on hover let's have a look so on hover we have the text as black so I want to change this to white and I wonder whether to change the background color to I don't know maybe I didn't think this through but maybe we can change the background color to be none the border color to be um, white and actually let's make it slightly darker let's see maybe that would work maybe if we hover over that would work I don't know uh, but as you can see you can mess around with the hover on here and just make it look nice now having added everything in here as you can see they're not spaced out well and what I want to do is we can space them out now if you wish but what we can do is we can actually group them just like you would in Adobe XD and that would basically allow us to center align all those items which is awesome so what we have to do is select the button hold shift select the text hold shift still holding shift select the heading here and we can stack them so that's pretty much grouping the elements together and now and now you can mess around with the padding if you wish like so and then you can use this 
group of elements or stack to center align them. So if I click on the stack, inside here you can play around with the width and then if I undock it from the top, that would mean that I want it in the middle and of course I'm going to remove the margins like so and this is now dead center in the middle of our page which is absolutely awesome and we should be good to go. If you want to preview the website, actually I could potentially publish it and go back and refresh. So that should take a second. And as you can see, this is dead in the middle. The spacing could be a little bit improved. Maybe that needs to go up. But yeah, these are things that you can mess around with and it's looking pretty cool. So let's go back. Don't show this again, done. And I'm gonna move this slightly up. Something like this. The next bit that we need to do is this scroll icon and text. To do this, first of all, I want to add a new vector. So I'm going to go add elements. And then if we go to, I think it's quick add and then shape. They actually have a lot of basic shapes that you can choose from. So let's have a look at one that could work for us. So I kind of like need some sort of a narrow. I think this one will work. So let's select this one. And the great bit about this is that all those SVGs, uh, you can change the colors of them. So if I go to the design here and we select fill, then I can change the color to white like so. And it looks a little bit weird now, um, but we can fix this. Or this, this needs to be uh, keep original proportion maybe. Yeah, okay, that fixed it. So if we keep the pro original proportion, that fixes it. And now I can scale this down without breaking it. Just make it nice. I mean, I could have exported the one from the design, but I'm just trying to save a little bit of time and place it around here. And now we can just grab some text. So we could duplicate this text or we could just add another one. I'm going to go with paragraph and add it around here. Then let's change this to scroll. If I click on it, edit text, and then change the color, that should work. Okay, uh, maybe we can center line this. Uh, this is a little bit bigger, so maybe like 14. Um, I think that would do. And also, the box around there is way too big, so I'm going to scale this down like so, just so we have a little bit of space to grab it, and leave it as it is. Maybe even smaller, I would say. Uh, so let's edit text and put it as 12. And I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, so later on, we're actually going to link this to the next section. If we hover over here, you will see this blue button, which uh, tells us that we can add a new section. Before we link the scroll and the icon, let's make sure that they're positioned correctly. At the moment, they're docked from the top, which is not what we want. And if you see, this one is docked from the top as well. So what we can do is if we select both of them by holding shift and mouse click and let's stack them so they're grouped together. And now we can actually uh, move this around and place them anywhere we like. So I'm going to place it around here again in the center, but I'm going to undock it from the top and I'm going to dock it from the bottom. So from the bottom, we have 35 pixels which I think that should be okay. And we should be good to go. Now, the next bit would be to actually link this. Unfortunately, there isn't a way of actually linking a stack. I think that potentially could be helpful. I don't know. But what we can do is link each individual element. So first of all, we need to create a new section in order to link the scroll. So what I'm gonna do is hover over here, the footer, and you will see this blue button. So if we press on the blue button, I want to add a blank section. And here is the blank section now. If you select the blank section, and if you go to the inspector tool, then you can go here at the bottom where it says anchor, and you can enable the anchor and give it a name. So I'm gonna give this a name of section one maybe. And now I can actually link this text here. So if I go up and click on the text, edit text, I can actually click on the link here and then we can do anchor and then we can do, instead of which page, we can just do uh, which anchor on this page and I can just select the 
section one of course so let's do done and let's do the same for the icon here we can link this as well link then anchor then section one and then done now if we save this and if we publish it or preview it whatever let's go back to the website you will see the scroll here maybe the scroll needs to be a little bit to the top but then if we click on the scroll you will see that we are getting this nice scroll and it stops now at the moment we don't have much more space but usually it will stop at the top and it will look nice so i'll demonstrate this a little bit later on when we add a little bit more content in the second section but for now i'm just going to move this slightly up so i'm going to go back to the stack and instead of 35 pixels i don't know maybe let's go 46 how does that look uh, it's a little bit better but yeah that's looking pretty cool we can save our project and have a look at what's next by the way i could put a custom view here it's quite big and the inspector is covering it so i could go with something like uh, six and that still has okay yeah that kind of fills my screen now and i can see a little bit better and we can use the inspector here on the right side before we move on from this section we need to make sure that everything is responsive meaning that this works on desktop tablet and mobile now let's go down to tablet first of all and see what we can change as you can see the text is shrinking down which is kind of like the normal behavior you normally go from big to small on tablet and mobile phone but this is way too much in my opinion so what i can do is click on the stack here and i can just maybe uh, make it a little bit bigger until i'm happy i mean something like this is pretty cool whoops and if i select the stack and just make sure that i move it select put it in the middle around here and i'm pretty happy with this for a tablet just make sure that we undock it from the top so it's in the middle no margins and that's looking cool for, ta uh, for tablet mode and now let's jump on mobile so on mobile i mean technically speaking i don't know if this is centered actually i'll have a look in a second but on mobile we can do the same i think that i might make it ever so slightly bigger let's have a look I don't know, I think this is looking nice and it's... Okay, something like this. I think this is looking quite nice now. Could potentially, the, the this section is full screen, but we could potentially click on it and change it manually from here if we wish to. So let's just undock this from the top, make sure it's in the middle, and let's fix this scroll. I wonder why it's not in the middle. Maybe I didn't add it in the middle? Uh, it's in the middle here, we disengage it. No, that's all looking good. Oh, I think that scroll, excuse me, I, I need to go to the stack first of all. We have, everything is looking good. So maybe, just go back. Oh, uh, okay, I think it shrinks down as well. So maybe we could have gone from mobile first and go up, but I'm doing it kind of all the way around. We're going from desktop just because it's easier to add elements and then tablet and mobile. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day, I think whatever you're comfortable with. But now that I've um, made this slightly bigger, we can undock it from the top, dock it from the bottom, make sure that we have zero margins on the left, uh, zero margins on the, on the right, and I'm happy with this. So on mobile, we can do exactly the same, make it a little bit bigger, then dock from the bottom like this, and yeah that's looking pretty cool so if i was to save this project and go back to the browser it's just easier to see uh, let's refresh okay as you can see on desktop it's looking pretty cool if we right click inspect go Control shift and i you will see that it's actually looking pretty cool on mobile as well i can click on the hamburger menu comes up with a nice animation everything is clear close this and i'm pretty happy with this and if i tap on this as well it will go down the menu uh, has the background color it's awesome so the same for tablet if i go up it will look nice as well and so on so let's go back focus on desktop again and have a look at what's next i need to put this down a little bit again so maybe six and just scroll to the right so we can see a little bit better let's have a look at what's next 
Now that we've made everything responsive, the only thing that I can notice on this section is the chat box. Now to add a chat box is actually fairly simple. We can go back and we can use the marketplace, so app marketplace, and if you search for chat, then we can use this Wix chat, which is pretty good. So if you click on this, and all you need to do is literally press this button, add to site, and that's it. We should be good to go. As you can see, our chat is added. Of course, there is a lot of settings that you can uh, change. So if I click on the chat, you can actually open your inbox. You have settings as well. So settings, the only thing I'm going to change is maybe the design, uh, actually. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that I didn't like, let's uh, preview this. I just don't like the color, that's all. Um, so maybe we can go to settings, design, or display. Design, minimize chat, and here we go. We have the background color here, and I don't know what to add it as. Maybe display icon, uh, I'll go for this one. Then text, I'm gonna go with white. Then I don't know what to add it as, maybe. Ooh, you know what? I'm kind of liking this, the dark vibe. It's not too much, but yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. So I'm gonna keep this. Uh, and once you're done, close this, save. Let's preview it super quickly if we publish the website. I just like previewing it on the full screen. And as you can see, we have the less chat, it follows you around. And if I click on it, expand, which is pretty cool. But I obviously need to change the inside of the chat. So let's go back super quickly, click on settings, then display, sorry, design again, then background and messages. Yeah, we definitely need to change this to white maybe. Um, then send icon color, that can be black. Proximal always pretty cool. Background color, that could be white. Font color is black. Uh, background color for this. Um, maybe we can change this to purpley color, I don't mind. And I just need to change the header here. I'm not sure which one it is. Background design. Uh, we can even add a design by the looks of it. Pretty cool. Header design, here we go. So for the header design, let's go for white. And this is it. I think I'm gonna leave this now and it's looking pretty cool. Yeah, that's looking super cool. It's nice and clean. So I'm gonna leave this now and we can continue with the next section. Let's have a look at what we have next. So for the next section, we kind of have three categories here. So we have expert coaching, we have nutrition and support. So first of all, I want to make sure that uh, we get kind of like a rough size of how big this section is. And by the looks of it, that's 1090 of height. So I could use this to mess around with and then add the rest. So let's go back, scroll down. We've already added the section, which we can scroll down to. And we need to start by selecting the section, going to the inspector tool. Let me move a little bit and minimal height instead of setting a minimal height i'm just thinking of setting it here and just setting it as pixels for now and later we can figure out so that's not a 1090 now let's add our first element here and the element actually i forgot to tell you that you can right click and click quick add uh, but in quick add there isn't the thing that i'm looking for so if we go to the plus sign the thing that i'm looking for is a repeater so let's click on this and this will add a repeater which looks like this with three white boxes looking pretty cool. It's kind of like already stacked, kind of like uh, the, this section here. So what I can do is move everything around. I can center it, I can make it a little bit bigger. And I'm actually, let's make this around 80% of yeah, that's looking pretty cool. We can unstack it from the undock, sorry, from the top and the right remove any unnecessary margins and remove the margins from here. And I think I've made this section far too big actually. So I'm gonna make this way too much smaller actually. 
maybe I've, uh, yeah, that's way too big. So let's have a look at how big it is. 688 and to be fair, I think it starts from around here and it's around here. So 910, okay. I think that would be okay. 910, that's a little bit better. These are 688, so I could potentially go on here, click on the repeater and then do minimum Let's make this, by clicking on the first item, let's make it a little bit bigger, uh, like so. That's very close to the design, I think. Uh, and I'm gonna keep it as this. But basically what repeated this is, not only I can center this as a kind of like a section, I can dock it in the middle, which will always stay in the middle. I can, every time I add something in here, it, uh, it will repeat on the other sections as well. It's kind of like, the repeat grid if you're familiar with it in Adobe XD. So if I do right click, quick add image, and it's adding around here. So I need to just make sure that I click on it and drag it here in the first in the first column. And if I want the image to be full screen, as you can see this image is repeating three times now, which is great. And if I want this image to be full screen, we just click on the stretch, which is awesome. And it takes every single box the full width. Also, one thing that I wanted to mention is that if you click on the repeater, you can actually change the layout. And what I want to do here is change the horizontal margins to something bigger, 16 maybe, and that would give us that would give us bigger horizontal margins. And I'm happy with this. So let's add a little bit of text on top of them as well, the title. So if I go to plus and then title, drag this inside here, make sure that we can make it full screen, like so. And we can dock it in the middle. So undock everything, uh, remove the margins, remove everything. And maybe we can just center line this. So edit text, center line, and let's start. And I'm actually happy with the size of this. It's using heading two. And we can just start editing the text. So the first one, we had expert coaching. Then the second one, we had, if I double click on it, nutrition. And the last one we had was support. And you saw that I changed the text on every single one. But if I was to make an amendment, like for example, maybe I didn't want this to be center line, I can just go up and they will all follow, which is amazing. So if I do control Z, that would go back, which is also a pretty cool shortcut to know about. So now that we have this, of course, we're gonna have to select all images. So let's click on the image, change image, and let's start looking at some images. So in a splash, I'm gonna go for gym, and this could take a second. Actually, this is the one that I want. So let me update this. And another thing that you can do is if you're happy with the uh, focal point of the image, you can actually click on this and change it manually. So for example, the focal point is in the middle, but if I wanted to change it, for example, I don't know, maybe her arm was the focal point you will see that it's moving a little bit. I can move it down here to be the focal point. I mean, it works better with slightly bigger images, I think, but you get the point, you can change it and adjust it the way you want, which is pretty awesome. Let's close this. And the next section we have, let's change the image as well. So unsplash and then gym again. So far I've been fairly fast with finding the images, but uh, we'll see. But if I take ages to find images, I will just speed up the process uh, because I don't know the exact names actually. So I just have to like scroll down and find the ones that I like. Here we go. This is the one that we have in the design. So let's update. Focal point is in the middle. I quite like it. Um, then the next one, let's go here, change image. And the next one will be kind of like uh, 
group fitness or group gym maybe I don't know anything like running people oh here it is actually took a little bit of time but let's update it now you're probably seeing the problem that we're gonna have the images are all looking nice they're exactly the same as the design but the text is super hard to read so what I've done in the original design is I've actually put if I double click on this I've actually put an overlay and this overlay is black with the 55 of opacity so we can actually do this without uh, having to export anything I could potentially just go here add a new element and add a shape now as you know from earlier we can change the shape colors and so on so let me change this shape first of all to a square like this one here and then I can maybe if we put settings keep original uh, no I don't want to keep the original so the and the, so as long as this is unticked we should be good to go and technically speaking I can put this as 100% undock it from the top so it's always in the middle remove the margins remove the margins again and oh we have stars here now but no problem maybe I can uh, I can quickly update them it's no problem um, or you can add your own SVG and that would uh, just go around uh, but anyways if we click on this and go to height maybe we can put 100% for the height as well so that would be percentage did that work 100% and that's taking the full width and the height which is exactly the way I want it and if you go to design we can change the fill color to 55 just the way I have it in the design and now if I go to layers I can actually move this basic shape layer under the title and we're good to go now they're standing out which is pretty cool and yeah I don't know why they didn't update I guess this is because this could be actually helpful because you can do different shapes so I don't blame the decision of doing this so I think this is a good decision actually so we just need to change it to the black square and go to the opacity change this to the black square and do the opacity that's it so they're all underneath the text it's all readable of course this is a demo website but the idea behind this is to actually link them potentially so you could do technically you could do a lot of stuff but I was thinking of just linking them or you could even add a button if you wish uh, you already know how to add a button like this you can even copy this one and just paste it around or if you wanted to link this you can just select on it then click on the link here and just link it to a page that you want so the moment we haven't created many pages but you can click on here and just select a page that you wanted to link it from here and that would be a link and actually um, let's have it as a link even if it's the home page just so you can see later on that the uh, the cursor changes on hover and I can do the same for the text as well it's a shame that you can't do the group I don't think that you can let's have a look on item uh, yeah it's a shame that you can't do on the whole item and I guess and it's a shame that you can't do uh, hover on these as well but these are things that editor x is probably working on and also I will give editor x a little bit of feedback so maybe they can add these things in future so of course go ahead uh, do the links for all of them as well and if we save this and maybe let's publish it again just because it's better to view full screen let me move this uh, let's refresh then if you scroll down this section is looking pretty cool but for some reason the text isn't updated so I don't know why uh, maybe we can click on the text edit text and just uh, do the color uh, change it and then save save publish and hopefully that should fix our problem uh, probably updating here we go the problem is fixed this is now link uh, I don't think I saved this actually but as you can see the cursor changes on this and of course I can do it on the text as well and I can look link the following to as well so I can link this uh, change to a page select the page and so on I can yeah I can link this uh, change it to whatever page I want and actually this underlines it as well but if you wish to remove the underline from the link you can do that by going to edit the text and just click in the underline 
uh, we are good to go. So I can link this as well. Click on the link, uh, page, you select the page. We could have created another page, but oh well. So if you edit text, link, page, select one, um, then, and then maybe let's link this one as well. Page, cool. Let's link this as well. A link to page, and here we go. I'm only linking this just to show you uh, the cover effect that you do get it. Um, so if I hover over when this, when I refresh, if I hover over this, it's a link and they're all links. But yeah, it would be nice to have some sort of hover effects. And also in the design, I think these are a little bit longer, 688. So maybe, maybe I could just uh, drag this one down. Uh, maybe I can select on the item and drag the item down, make it, I, don't know. I think that would look a little bit nicer. And as you can see, everything is still uh, keeping its position, which is pretty awesome. So let's save this and make sure, and now let's make sure that this section works on tablet and mobile. Now, if we were to go to tablet first of all, you will see that this is shrinking. Now, our first option is to maybe remove the gaps between them if you wish to keep it this way and make the box slightly bigger. Or what you can do if you go back to the repeater, I believe that we can change the layout and we can make it as a list. So if we click on list, you will see that this is now stacking up, which is pretty awesome. And of course, if you feel that these boxes are far too big, we can change them as well. So if I click on an item, actually, let's click on the first one. Let's go to item. And let's go, oh, sorry, let's go and just shrink this so much more. I don't know, I think this might be okay. And as you can see, this is already looking cool. And if I go to uh, mobile, this is already working for mobile as well. I kind of like it the way it is, so I'm gonna keep it, but you can make it smaller as well. So we have uh, mobile, we have tablet looking awesome, and we have it looking awesome on desktop with just a few clicks. Let's save this. Publish, view the, view the page, and this is looking pretty awesome. Let's consider this section as uh, finished, but of course, maybe I could have messed around with the spacing a, li a little bit, but yeah, it's looking pretty cool so far. So let's focus on the next section now. So if you scroll down, we have this big image uh, with this pretty cool one with nice tattoos, lifting heavy, and so on. So what I'm gonna do is save this as an SVG again, or you can just do it as a H1 title, whatever you prefer. Uh, so file, and then, so I would click on this, file, and then export, uh, select it, and then just export as SVG. You can optimize it as well to save a few kilobytes. And I've actually already exported this one, so I can go back to Editor X. Let's create a new section, blank section, and by the way, if you want to stay a little bit more organized, you can go to, sorry, uh, where is section? You can go to layers and you can name your sections as well. So this one would be get started today. This one is the hero section. Uh, this one is the maybe like options, I'm not sure what to call it, but you get the point. So you can uh, name your sections and when you click on them, you can also move your sections around from here, which is pretty cool. And when you click on them, it focuses on the section that we're working on. Now, as we saw, we're gonna have this one with this title here, but let's start from beginning. Now we need to break this down a little bit. First of all, I have this reddish background, which makes the uh, image a little bit better in my opinion. So what I'm gonna do is export this red fade. At the top, I have another fade uh, SVG. So I'm gonna export this. I'm gonna export the red one. And then we're just gonna reuse the top one for the bottom here as well. So we have kind of like a few layers. So let's do that. I've already exported them. I just need to add the image and find it. 
Uh, actually, let's just find out that this is uh, 9.14. So this section, I can click on it. Minimum height, I can do 9.14 if I wish, or I can just set it as height. And this is a little bit bigger now, which is cool. Uh, definitely could go down to uh, six on this, just so we can see. And let's add a new element. This element will be an image then we can scale this image to take the full screen, sorry, the full width and height of the section, like so. And now, of course, we need to change the image. So this one was, again, from Unsplash, and this was what, like gym, girl, maybe tattoos. Uh, let's have a look if we can find her. It's a pretty cool image, so I definitely want to use that. Um, gym... Oh, here we go. I'll put the gym tattoo and the one we came up. She's got a few cool images actually, but I'm going to use the same one uh, on the design. So let's click update. This will update the image. And now we can start adding the uh, fades. So for example, let's go to add element, add a new shape. Okay, let's change the basic shape and let's upload a new uh, shape. That would be my red fade, drag it inside it should take a second and we're done. Add to page. Here it is. Make sure that you click on settings, keep original proportions, untick this. Let's remove any margins in here and in here. And then we can just dock it in the middle. And I think, I don't know where we went. Oh, here it is at the top. So I just need to remove the margins sometimes. Here we go. The margins are now removed. And let's put the width to 100% and the height to 100%. Let's do percentage and that's it. We're good to go. The red fade is there, but I still want those black fades. So our website kind of always fades in and out. And to do this, let's create a new shape. Let's drag this in the middle so we can see it. Change basic shape and let's and let's go and upload a new one. This will be my small fade. So I'm gonna use this from for the top and the bottom. Again, settings, keep original proportion removed. Now I'm gonna actually dock this to the top. I'm going to remove the margins from here and the yep, margins. As you can see, it's here at the top and I'm going to set the width as 100%. But, the height doesn't need to be set to anything. So uh, I can actually check what the height is here. So the height is 218. I can change this to pixels and just do 118. And that should go to the top. And as you can see here, it is the fade. So I'm actually thinking of copying this and pasting it. So Control C, Control V, and I can dog this to the bottom undock it from the top, make sure that we don't have any margins. And as you can see, it's in here. But what we can do is we can actually rotate stuff inside Editor X. So if you go down, we can do, I believe it was here under just, and you can rotate. So if you rotate this to 180 degrees, as you can see, it flips around and we have the bottom fade as well. So we're technically just saving a few kilobytes as well. And that's pretty cool. Let's save, and now the next bit that we need to add is the title and a button. For the title, again, I'm gonna use an SVG, so add shape, let's go here in the middle, undock it, and let's change the basic shape, upload a new one, and this will be the get started SVG, one kilobyte as you can see, and still contains text inside it, which is pretty awesome. And we can, do I have to do the key position of proportions? Potentially, how did it do earlier? Okay, I think, yeah, okay, I need to scale it the way I want. Like so. Okay, I think, yeah, it starts resizing from here. So I think this is kind of like the original size. You can be specific and do it as a, uh, 
pixels if you like, but I'm going to leave it as it is. And let's add a button now. So I'm going to go to the top because we've already created the button and I want to keep the same style. So I'm going to control and see this one, go down here, select something and control V. And here is the button. So right away I can just paste it in here. Let's have a look at what this says. It just says sign up. So double click on this change, uh, sorry, one click on this change text and then sign up. Sign up. Of course you can change the link and so on. Uh, and that's good to go. I'm pretty happy with this. Now let's make sure that this works on tablet as well. So on tablet, um, I'm not super happy with this. Actually, if we go back to desktop, it would be this moved a little bit. So let's let's position this a little bit better. Something like this. Okay, something like this would do. And uh, before we do anything else, oh, sign up. Okay, before we do anything else, let's make sure that those two elements are stacked. So if I hold, if I click on this and hold shift and click on the button, we can stack them. So I can easily now manipulate the uh, pattern between them. And most importantly, I can dock them in the middle like so, remove any margins and that would be dead center. And now if we go to tablet, Let's make sure that this is made responsive nicely. So I'm just going to expand this for tablet. Let's see how it looks. Oops, let's make sure that we click on the stack and move the stack instead. Um, I don't know, maybe let's just use a little bit more of the available space, I would say. So something like this would do. Uh, too much space now. So maybe I can just move the button. Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think that would work. Um, obviously, I can mess around with it a little bit more. Once we are happy with this, just make sure that you click on stack. Then make sure that you dock this in the middle, remove any margins, and we're done. So this is um, tablet mode, now mobile. That doesn't look too bad on mobile. One thing that I might want to do is, I mean, Technically speaking, this section is far too big for mobile. Like there is a lot of gaps between this. I'm happy with this one, but this one is far too big. So I'm going to click on the actual section here, go back to section and I'm going to change the minimum width to something smaller. I don't even know what, but we're just going to have to experiment. So let's click on that. It's looking better. Um, I think much more. Uh, it's getting better and now the image is getting a little bit better as well. We're getting a little bit more from the image and that's that's decent enough. Maybe we can just make this a little bit bigger. I don't know. Uh, maybe we can make the stack a little bit bigger. Uh, yeah, I mean the button seems a little bit too big maybe. But let's uh, center align this, remove any margins like so. And I'm happy with this. So let's save this. Let's go back to tablet. That's looking nice and clean and desktop is looking pretty awesome as well. So we're pretty much done with this section and let's move on to the next one. Okay, this section shouldn't be too bad because we have some of the work already done from the previous one. But what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna have to export this super quickly, your training options, so export, select it and then SVG optimized export. Now that I have this, let's create a new section. I'm going to go for a blank section. Then we can go to the sections in here and just make sure that uh, we rename this. So we rename this to training option. Like so, and we're good. All right. Let's start by adding our title. So add a new element. This could be our SVG again. Change basic shape, upload, then training option. Here it is in here. Let's add it to the page. Uh, keep original proportion is set here, which is good. One thing that I forgot to totally 
add is that you can actually describe what's in the SVG for the titles and that would make him even better inside here. But yeah, make sure that you uh, keep your proportions. Uh, click on it and then let's just resize it to whatever we want. Right, something like this. Uh, that's looking cool. Maybe a little bit small, I would say. One thing that I was thinking about is that you, we might not get the consistency if we don't do the exact pieces as of the design, but I can maybe change this later on to just polish the design and let, let's scale this a little bit like so. Let's add a paragraph, so plus element and then paragraph. Let's make sure that we grab some text from here. So we have three lines, roughly, uh, we can paste it, change the text to white. If it isn't already, uh, did I change it? Text to white. Do I have to select all of the text and change it to white? Okay, yeah, I have to select all of the text, change it to white. Uh, then we can center line this. Wide variety is apparently misspelled or something like this. So that's all good. I'm happy with this. So the next bit would be to center line them. So they're now actually, yeah, uh, I'm happy with this. The only thing that I will need to do is click on both of them and stack them and just make sure that they are actually positioned docked at the top now this time and just remove the margin from the left. And I'm happy with this space in here. And now we need to add a few more things inside this section. And what I'm thinking is we might as well uh, potentially copy this repeater here. So if you go to repeater and control C, can we do control and V here? Yep, we can do. Uh, we might have to just move it down to the bottom. And I wonder whether this is going to make the section a little bit bigger. Now, we might have to make the section bigger manually. Let's have a look. If I click on this, oh, we have it as minimum 500. Let's make it, how big is this section here roughly? So that would be from maybe here to here. One, two, three, five. Something like this. Maybe a little bit less than that actually. But yeah. One, two, three, five. That's cool. Uh, we can now move or repeater to the top. Let's grab it first of all. Repeater, repeater, and yeah, let's move it. Let's make sure that it's in this section here. Uh, I think I stuck the repeater inside the header. That's why. Here we go. Uh, let's center line there like so. And we have half the job already done. So as long as this is nicely spaced out, just like the design, maybe like so. Of course, spend your time on this. I'm actually gonna dock this from the top as well because we need to make sure that we have the spacing all the time. We could potentially, just thinking about it, we could potentially stack everything and center line everything, but let's see how this goes. I think that might be okay. So for the next design, so for the design in here, we have a, I'm gonna move this to the right side and copy some of the text. So we have a small group PT, like so. We have classes. And we have, what do we have? One to one sessions. So like so. And now we actually need to add uh, some text in here as well. So let's do plus paragraph add it to the first section here. So that will repeat on every single one. I'm gonna make a full width in here. Then if I click edit text, grab all of the text, make sure that is white, center line it. And I'm actually going to give it a little bit of a gap from the left and the right like so. And of course, do we need to expand this? I don't know, no, that's it right and left and let's just make sure that there is no margins again oh actually this needs to go down to the bottom so i can do this and we can drag the title like so as well and maybe instead of stacking them from the top i could potentially grab both of them stack them and make sure that they stack from the bottom here so margin remove and we're good to go 
So that's all looking good. I can now populate this with the real content. Maybe we need to change it, we'll see. Okay, that actually moved up a little bit. Very smart, actually. That's pretty cool. Uh, double click, go up. That's pretty smart as well. We might need to, yeah, we might need to align them a little bit. And then let's paste the text. Oops. Uh, that's looking pretty cool. Actually, because there is less text on some of them, what I'm thinking, let's minimize this a little bit more, center line it like so. Uh, but also, actually that fixed the problem. I was just gonna move everything uh, slightly up, but that fixed the problem. The design is fairly similar, I think. So let's keep it as it is. And of course, if you think that the text is not readable, we can always click on the shape and just change the opacity color. Let's save this and let's make sure that this works on tablet as well. So if I click tablet mode, uh, this messes up a little bit, so I'm gonna click on the stack and I'm just going to resize the stack here. Just make it something like this. That's already looking better to me. Just make sure that is center aligned, of course. So, oh no, stack it from the top, sorry. Just make sure you remove any margins and we're good. I think I'm happy with this. And this is actually taking the styles from the top one that we copied and pasted. And I actually really like this. Um, would I center line them or make the space? Maybe, maybe center line them. We could potentially just click on the stack here. So where is it? Let's click on the first one. And then go stack. And then un uh, undock it. Just make sure that it's in the middle. Remove any margins and we're done. That's all in the middle now. And for mobile, let's have a look at what we get. Um, a little bit too much text for mobile here. Not so happy with this. Is this... Oh, this is 18 pixels. So, that doesn't need to be 18 pixels. That needs to be uh, 16 pixels, I believe. So I can click on it. Change this to 16 pixels. And hopefully, if I go down, that's all looking good. And that's looking better, but I can make this a little bit bigger. Maybe like that. Okay. Of course, yeah, that's looking a little bit better. But as you can see, this is working. For mobile, we do have probably far too much text, in my opinion, in here. But what I could do is on the item, I can just make it slightly bigger. like so maybe also we can extend this to the left and the right that would help we can even make the text smaller uh, and so on maybe remove the margins uh, yeah i think yeah definitely too much text but yeah that could work of course all these can be linked uh, as you know, click on uh, anything like the text, go inside the text and just link it. So I'm going to consider this section as done as well. Let's make sure that we save our project and let's have a look at the next section. Actually, before we go, maybe this has too much space. So I'm going to just make, let's have a look. Yeah, just remove a little bit of the space. Make sure that everything is working on uh, mobile. Actually, could do with a bit more space for the tablet. Working maybe the whole repeater can be moved up. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit better, I think. So let's save this. Let's focus on the next section. All right, the next section that we have is fairly similar to the one that we had at the top here. So I could potentially, let's have a look at what we get. So we have a black overlay. It's just a black field belief, no shadows, anything. This is 60%. We have this image and we have the overlays here. So I wonder if I could potentially go to the section here, this one here, and duplicate it. Let's have a look. Maybe if I click on training, uh, no, it was get started today. So if I click on this, can I duplicate it? So with Control and D, we can actually duplicate sections, which is pretty cool. And now actually move, I can move this one at the bottom and I can start updating stuff. Okay, that saved us so much time actually. And of course, we're gonna have to go to the layers, uh, go inside, select the image, 
and just change the image. Actually, it's selection. Where is it? I think it's just hard to select now, but uh, if we click on the image, here we go, change image. And now I need to find this image here of lifting weights. Gym weights. I'm going to have this on my right side here as a reference. Oh, it's very similar to this one here. And here it is. So let's click on this one and update. And here is the image. Of course, on this one, I might not want the middle shape here that we have. So I could potentially grab this and remove it. I'm obviously going to keep the top and bottom. And I'm actually liking this. But if you wanted to make it darker, again, we can grab one of them uh, shapes. So for example, I can even, yeah, let's just add a new one. Uh, so plus sign, shape, then we can make this as a, as a square. This was 60%, so let's change it to 60%. This was, uh, do I need to change the keep original proportion? No, it's something, it's all good. So technically I can go to here, put this as 100%, oh, undock it first of all. Uh, here we go, I think that messed it up. So let's go back, undock it, uh, remove any margins and paddings, whatever, um, and then just put 100%, and I think that just worked automatically, and the height is set to auto, and that seems to work, um, but, do I need to put this one at the bottom of the others? So basic shape, uh, maybe we need to put it around here. So the text pops up, and it's in the middle. It's It looks like a big section. Yeah, this section looks a little bit bigger than uh, I want. So let's have a look at what's going on. Maybe this height is messing up. So maybe if I put this, if I go back, so yeah, this section looks a little bit bigger than I wanted. Maybe this uh, shape height is messing it up. So if I put percentage, yeah, okay. So this shape was pushing it and that's why. If I put it, if I put it as percentage and 100%, that gives it the original height. And this is just the way I want it. And of course, I'm gonna have to quickly export all this. So let me go back super quickly. Uh, I'm going to have to quickly export this. Uh, G, Ctrl G, file, export, select it, SVG, desktop, and this will be. So if I was to click on this one, maybe we can just change vector art and then go to upload media, drop on media in, add some tax if you wish. Uh, you can definitely click on the settings here and add the description. So maybe we can just copy this and describe what it is. I need to copy the rest, but yeah, you get, oh, and I don't really want it to be capital, capitalized, but definitely add your description in here as well. Um, and then let's just make sure that we expand it. So yeah, something like this, center line it. Um, do we need to expand the stack potentially? Oh, now the stack. Okay. If we go back, instead of expanding the shape, we need to expand the stack and that will fix our issue. So it's all nicely aligned. Oops. Stack, move the stack in the middle. And that's looking already good. Uh, I don't know if it needs to be any bigger, potentially. No, that's looking cool. Sign up button is looking cool. Uh, save this. Let's make sure that this works on tablet. I am happy with this. Maybe maybe the section is far too big on tablet. Uh, we could potentially uh, shrink it. But for mobile, let's have a look. No, I'm happy with this. I think this is decent. So I'm going to leave it and save us and save. Let's have a look at the next section that we have. And actually, this is it. We have one more section and this section is the footer. So I'm going to have this on my right side so I can copy and paste some of the text. And the footer is one of them, if I show you, the footer is one of them master masters, which if we edit on one page, will apply on every single page. 
uh, out there. Here we have some text that I didn't change earlier and the, the default text was white. So if we start from here, let's click on this, make sure that the text is set to white. And inside here, what do we have? So copyright 2000, uh, 2023, I'm going to say 21 by, and then I'm going to say, so let's say 2021, I don't know, zoo365 is the name of our website. And I can say created by Ruddy on editor X. And then if I wanted to, I can click on my name and then where's the link? I can link my website. So I can do web address and I can do HTTPS and slash slash ruddy.co.uk. Done. It's linked. I think I have a little bit of space. It's linked and that's all looking good. That's part of it, but if we move this to the side for a second, what I'm going to do is let's first of all measure how big this is. So I'm going to grab a square and this is going to be roughly 652. So I'm going to say minimum width on this footer to be 652, 652. That's it. I'm going to move this for now at the bottom. And what I'm going to do, of course, we're going to have to undock it. But what I'm going to have to do in here is I'm thinking of adding a container which I can split into a few different sections. Let's have a look at how we can do this. So if we go to the plus sign, we can grab a new container. Here it is. I want the container to have the width of 80% to the left and the right. So any margins from the left need to be removed and the right, of course. Uh, I need to keep changing this just because I want it to fit. So that's looking good. And for this container, we can actually apply grids in the container. So I can click apply grid. And here we have quite a few useful grids that we can use. And the one that I want is this four by one. So let's click that. And as you can see, this creates kind of like a separation columns, which is pretty cool. But also we can further modify them by doing container and adjust grid, sorry. And then we can edit the grid. So edit grid. And what I want to do is the gaps. So I want to put 16 pixel gaps between every single column here. And you can actually use this and dra uh, drag around uh, if you want one section to be bigger than another and so on. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to go with done. And we can actually start populating some of the text. So I'm going to put this on the side and start copying and pasting. So first of all, let's drag a new title. So that will be a title. Let's go here. Let's uh, make it small so it fits in the column here. And if we open the inspect, actually, let's make sure that this doesn't have any margins. It's docked from the top, width is set to 100. And this is actually going to be center line, so that's fine. As long as this text is white, so I could potentially just click white just in case, and we should be good to go. So this is all good. I actually like the size of it as well. And let's start populating stuff. So this will be find this. I can actually copy this, paste it, move it to the second column, like so. This one will be get assistance. Copy, paste, move on to the next one. This one will be company. Copy, paste, move on to the next one. And this one, oh, let's remove this. This one will be keep in touch. Like so. And now we can start populating some of the text. So for the text, I'm going to go ahead and add a paragraph. The paragraph is still set to black for some reason. So maybe I can go to colors and double check this. Now they will seem to be set to white. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, the paragraph we can edit and set the color to be white. And now we have 
uh, some fake address that I found over on the internet. I kind of made it up as well. Then we have uh, we have the Facebook. Sorry, we have the Messenger, and we have Twitter. I could potentially do them a separate a separate text and add the icons as well. So let's do that and see how it goes. So I could potentially let's cut this out and let's copy let's copy this one, paste it. And I'm just gonna paste this one at the bottom. And I'm gonna say contact. Then do that. And then I'm just gonna make this contact box box, sorry, a lot smaller. Oops, a lot, a lot smaller. Now I can copy this box here and say messenger. We need to make it a little bit bigger. And I need one more. And I'm going to say for the next one, I don't know if it's going to fit, Twitter DM. Yeah, I don't know if I enough space in here. All this can be docked, by the way. Uh, maybe I can do that. Um, this can be spaced a little bit better, like so. Um, and we need some icons. Actually, haven't. Here we go. Embed in icons. So here we go. We have a lot of icons in here that we can use. They don't seem to have social. HTML frames and social. Okay, they don't seem to have the messenger icon, uh, which is a shame. I'll have to. Uh, export it quickly and they have Twitter though so we can use Twitter just change where is it let's paste it in here let's just change uh, so what I'm gonna do is quickly export both icons should only take a second so first of all let's go to export and then let's jump back in editor X and then let's add we need a quick add shape and the shape that we want to add will be change basic shape upload media and i'm gonna drag both of them here it should take a second first of all let's drag the messenger let's make it super small position it the i can position stuff with the arrows which is super helpful as well And for the Twitter, let's copy the same one, paste it, and then we can do change back to art, and then Twitter. Add to page, the same size, so I can potentially just click on the Twitter and just change it and add it here. Uh, we could potentially space them out. Very crowded in here now. Okay, uh, that's not bad. Potentially could make them smaller or space the text out a little bit. I don't know. But but you get the point. You can all do all this. All right, of course, I'm going to have to link them and so on. But let's finish the rest. So we have a few links in here. So what I'm going to do is for the links, I'm just going to grab this text and just uh, there are quite a few ways of doing this actually but what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to list the stuff with text for now so let me just copy and paste them like so and potentially I might want to maybe just paste, uh, do the line spacing a little bit more oops paste how is the line space? Actually, this line spacing is pretty good. And of course, I will link them one by one and so on. Then I can copy this, paste it, have it under here, under company. And let's change that as well. Pretty cool. And then we have keep in touch. Then this will be another form. So let's copy and paste the text, align it like so, and just copy and paste the text from Adobe XD. For keeping touch, there are quite a lot of options, but if you go to the app market and do get subscribers, I think that we can use this one, get info, subscribers and payments with forms. So I can view app and then add to site. 
So that's probably the easiest way to add it. So here we go, we have contacts, subscribers, sales leads, and so on. So I'm gonna click on subscribers, choose template, and this should help me out with the form. So here it is, I mean, it's gonna need a little bit of change. So I'm gonna click on the field here, and let's go change. And so background, mm, yeah, background, let's go for white. And I think that pretty much fixes most of the issues. This button is black. I mean, kind of like it, but it's pretty hard to see as well. I don't know what to do with it. Yeah, it's pretty hard to see, to see, to be fair. So what I'm gonna do is make this button background color, maybe like slightly gray. Okay, and now I can select this, move it inside here, first of all. And I'm gonna have to shrink that quite a bit. like so uh, have a look on this so this is center line but I want this to be 100% um, I want the button to be 100% that's cool and now if I click on the get subscriber form hopefully I can just scale it all or just can I do 100% maybe yes but then the container uh, I was wondering if I can do 100% on this. Technically speaking, okay, now that it's inside, I think that I can do it. Here we go. Now it's inside, I can put 100%, and that seems to work, and that's perfect. Of course, I'm going to need a little bit more space, so let's do that. Let's grab it, move it, uh, maybe, actually, let let's leave it as it is and just go inside 100 here we go uh margin to the left we have some margin left and let's remove it okay that's pretty cool we have our submit form as well let's save and see how this looks like uh potentially this looks fairly close to each other but let me have a look on the big if i publish this Let's refresh, scroll down, and that's actually not too bad. The only thing that I need to remove is the container border, which I can do. This form should be working out, but as you can see, the hover effect isn't so great, so I'm gonna have to change that as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, potentially a little bit more space between them. So let's click on the actual container, go to adjust grid, edit grid, and I'm gonna say, I don't know, 22. This doesn't fit now, so maybe we can just fit, I mean, it'll probably fit on full screen, but just to be safe, we can even do this. Just stack them, and now everybody is happy. Gotta mess around with this, but yeah, that's pretty cool. And yeah, I forgot to do the hover on this, so let's edit this and then go here. Uh, so we have regular, we have hover, oh, okay, here we go, hover, let's do white. And what else do we have? We have focus, um, yeah, focus needs to be changed. Um, let's say white focus, but maybe we need to have like a blackboard or something, you know, you have to play around with this. And then error, that's really cool that you've got this option as well. For the error, you can change the color as well, but I'm gonna go with white with a uh, red border. I like this. Save this and that should be now fully working. The last thing, let's have a look at the design. The last thing that we have, obviously we need to remove the border. We have this image at the bottom, which I can do, and we have the social icons. Now for the social icons, we can export all of them. So file, export, select it. All right, and now, first of all, let's remove the border by clicking on the container. And then here, border, we can just put it as zero. And just like that, the container is gone. Of course, we're gonna have to make sure that this is responsive in a second, but uh, let me, first of all, let me first of all add the icons and then we'll align everything. So if we go to plus, then we can do shape, 
I mean, there is a social bar option, but I'm not sure how to change the color of them. So, so this is the first basic shape and we need to change the color. Okay, so let's change this first of all to whatever it was the first one, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. So let's upload Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and that's it. Oh, we have Twitter twice, that's why. So let's add the move. And let's start with Twitter. Add, just scale it down a little bit. Obviously, make sure that you link it. We can now copy and paste. If we're happy with the size, then we can change the artwork to Instagram. Copy, paste. We can change the spacing between them, first of all. Change, uh, that would be LinkedIn, probably. And then, last but not least, we have Facebook. So change out Facebook, and we should be good to go. So if we grab all of them together, we can equally space them, first of all. I think they're already equally spaced by the looks of it. And then we can group them. And now we can move them to, like, around here, and we'll dock them in a second. For this, I'm thinking of going so this needs to be right here in the middle somehow. We could potentially put the icons in their own container. So I could do add container, move the container here to the bottom. Maybe I need to resize it quickly like so. And then we can put the social icons inside. And now we can use this container. Excuse me. Let's do that. Now I can put this in here, attach it. And now we can use this container to move the icons however we like, center line them and so on. And maybe, I don't know if I should dock this from the top potentially, or maybe, or maybe I should group both of them here, stack both of them like so. And that would be absolutely fine. Obviously this container has the border, so I would remove it. And I think this would definitely work out uh, and potentially we can do the same for this one here. Uh, we could add another container or we could just align this one here like so. And can I stack them? Oh yes, I can. Here we go. I stack them. Maybe that needs to be moved to the left and that needs to be left aligned and so on. And that's kind of like looking, uh, it's almost getting the same as the real design. The only thing I need to add is this uh, icon here, logo, sorry. So to do this, I'm actually going to have to export this as well. So let me click on this and this group and then export, select it and desktop. Let's add a new shape. Now let's change the shape. So change shape, then we can upload our own one. I've got it through the logo. Now let's add this to the page. Here it is. Uh, we can scale it as much as we want. We can align anywhere we want, like so, maybe, maybe even bigger. Uh, I don't know. Maybe even like this, that would look pretty cool. Uh, of course, this is gonna have to be outside here. I think that would look cool actually. Uh, maybe we just need to, Maybe we just need to like uh, set the margin to the left and the bottom to be zero. I'm going to leave the docking to the bottom. Do I need to dock it from the top as well? I mean, let's, let's just dock it from the left side and middle. So I think that would work. And obviously we need to go to layers and move this vector out underneath pretty much everything. So everything is readable. Um, of course, we can mess around with opacity and all that. But if we save this, actually, let's publish it quickly. And if we go to the desktop version, that's looking cool. As long as there is no scroll to left and right, uh, that's how I want it. Um, I mean, there is a little bit of scrolling here. Maybe I can fix that and maybe I can add a little bit of padding at the top. 
So, so what I'll do is I'm going to move this down quite a lot because as you can see, we have plenty of space. Uh, let's move everything. So whole stack. Oh, I didn't stack this for some reason. So let's select this one as well and click stack. So now everything that is stacked, we can potentially, actually I can click on this and undock it from the top. Just make sure it's positioned at the bottom, remove any of the margins like so. And that's going to be in the center. And I can do the same for this. Maybe I can undock it, maybe have it in the middle, uh, remove this from the bottom, maybe make it small, I would say. And again, undock remove uh, that's looking cool and I'm just gonna shrink this down okay I think that this is actually going to do the job let's save it let's publish it one more time and have a look and of course we need to make sure that this is mobile friendly so we're gonna have to do that next but yeah I'll probably make some space and fix this at the bottom uh, but that's pretty much it let's make sure that this works on mobile now so if I click on tablet it's all messed up so if I click on this we can go to adjust grid and we can do the grid to be one by four this side so from top to bottom and that will change everything for me which is amazing we could potentially center line stuff and align stuff a little bit better definitely could make these smaller i'd say move them around Uh, what else the maybe like a, a little bit of padding between them so if I do if I click on the actual container if I edit grid edit grid uh, we can do the spacing here as well so let's say 22 as well that would give us a little bit more breathing space and that's looking pretty cool actually uh, the logo is here now add the logo let's dock it let's dock it from the bottom left uh, margin zero uh, i think i think the actual svg stops here and that's why it was giving me issues but yeah here we here we go we can do this and that's looking fairly clean to me maybe we can go to mobile uh, that's pretty cool as well for mobile uh, one thing i'll probably scale this down a little bit actually let's have a look so the whole thing can be actually moved to the left here so I go to container or is it stack now yeah stack I can move the whole thing to the left and uh, that fits a little bit better we can even shrink it down if we wish undock center line undock remove any margins and this will be center line pretty cool uh, yeah we are having a little bit of issue here but we can potentially solve it so I'll probably change, is it the container that we need to change? Let's have a look. Or the stack. Okay, the reason I think, okay, it's getting a little bit more complicated on mobile and I feel, and I feel like the reason for this is because I have too many stacks. So if we go back, and if we let's have a look if we start unstacking stuff so if we click on this one and then stack let's have a look at the other one as well so stack and if we unstack it I, I believe that if we grab everything now so i click on this click on this one here and this one here and if we stack them now that should give us a better layout and of course i need to move this somehow uh, let's have a look something like this would do the container we can click on here we go stack and then we can undock it from the top have it in the middle remove any of the margin now excuse me and that's looking much better that needs to be sent back uh yeah just underneath the stack and that will be looking that's and that's looking good uh, that probably actually needs to be scaled down a little bit uh, 
like so. And that should be much, that should be better now. I think I had too many stacks and that's why it wasn't working well. But technically speaking, if I go to uh, tablet, as you can see, that's already working better. I could potentially have a little bit more padding at the top here and at the bottom. So I could click on the actual footer and then go here and just do, I don't know, let's give it a little bit more room. How much more do we need? Um, let's get in there, I think a little bit more. More. I think we need a lot more. Okay, that made a little bit of a difference. So we have a little bit of padding at the top. Uh, definitely can move this. Now here at the bottom maybe. Uh, that's, that's already looking so much better. Of course, these icons can be a lot bigger. Uh, of course, this can be made, I, I should have made this full screen to be honest, uh, my fault, but I can just drag it, center liner here, uh, maybe we need to go to layout, center liner, just remove any margins, uh, could potentially put us 100%, mm, maybe not, I mean, they look a little bit too big now, yeah, I'm happy with this, that's fine. Uh, potentially could have a little bit of padding, I guess, so I could move this down. Could potentially grab this and put a little bit of padding between them, like so. Uh, but that's it. Now this is in the middle. If we go to mobile, it's already looking nice and clean. And yeah, that's why I was... Uh, I was struggling a little bit because I had too many things stacked up and here we might have to just adjust a few bits and I think this might be because uh, of my previous stack so but easy fix I'm just gonna put this at 100% and here we go that's working that can go now 100% and that's working and just this one left I believe let's go for 100% and we can yeah I'm happy with this. Um, that's all looking cool. We can now save this, go to publish. Let's have a look at our website. And the only thing that's left is I believe that this image is actually, uh, I've cut it quite badly, I think. I should have exported the whole thing maybe, uh, but I can fix this. I can re-export it um, and then I need to move it a little bit up because it's adding a little bit of white space. But this is looking quite nice in my opinion. Uh, let me move this a little bit just so I can show you and then we can maybe save, publish. And as you can see the white space is gone, obviously I can move this, uh, I can make this a little bit bigger now. And if I was to inspect this website, as you can see, it's looking pretty professional on mobile straight away. Um, pretty happy with this. The only thing that I just put it. No, I'm pretty happy with this. Everything is looking quite professional. Menus working. And the last thing that I wanted to show you is that in the design, we have a couple of pages like home, about, timetable, shop, gallery and contact. Obviously the video went for far too long and I won't be able to do every single page. But if you wanted to add a shop, that's pretty easy. You can go to the market app marketplace and move. And um, Editor X or Wix, shall we say, has an online store. So if you go, if you search for online store, you can install this. It's literally one click install. So you can view up, click on this, and this will install the shop for you in a second. It's amazing. And let me quickly show you how we can add auto pages. So full pages, so for, for example, let me move this to the right side. We have about page, which are kind of faked here, but we can add a real about page and I can just call it about. And as you click on it, it will actually go to the about page and you can start editing it, which is amazing. 
of, of course, the footer stays on all pages, as you can see, the header stays on all pages, as you can see. And then let's add one more. Let's add two, three more, just for the example. So this will be timetable, okay, and timetable. And let's add one more here, which will be potentially shop, you know. Then let's add the other one, which potentially will be gallery. And we have one more, which is contact. And you can build uh, contact pages super easy with the app market again. But I want, what I wanted to show you is if we go back to home and if we click, for example, on the navigation, I mean, we didn't have to go home, but if we click on the navigation, and manage menu we can from here is where we can actually manage the pages so we can remove this one and we can do show pages and now i can literally just tick all of them apply and we have all of the pages added and for example if we go to the about let's just literally let's just add a little bit of text so title and um, we can just call this uh, about us and just make sure that I don't know if I need to change the text color, but let's just change it uh, just in case. And here we go. That could be potentially or about page. Of course, we need to center it, all that. But if I save this and, and if I publish, let's go back, refresh. OK, now we have the full menu here. Um, I didn't do a very good hover on this. Of course, it, it would have been nice if the color was slightly better on hover. Maybe I can fix this later. But what I wanted to show you is that if I click on about, just like so, we have an about page with the footer, the header, and everything. And, and just like this, we can start adding stuff. So for example, I can add a new image, make this image full width. I can make this... I don't know, let's make this, let's make a presentable center liner. I can align it in the middle, like so. Remove any margins. Uh, maybe we can make the text a lot bigger, just for, for the demo, of course, uh, about this. And if we publish this, we can also, um, another thing, you can also keep the heading as it is, or you can make the heading on top of the uh, this section, just like we did originally. So if I click on this, we can scroll down to uh, fixed, uh, scroll, and then overlap next section. And just like this, save, publish. Let's have a look. Just like this, we have a beautiful about looking page. We can go back to the home, nicely animated. Uh, this is all looking cool. Hover on the button, C could be changed then that works all of this is linked that works such a that really nice clean design here uh, this is all text as well well this is all svg text sorry uh, this is all working that's all pretty cool the footer is working this is uh working as well so if i was to submit this uh it comes up i think this is actually from the browser but yeah uh this is working the chat if we click on the chat again this is straight away so working i have to configure it further and so on and just like that you can build beautiful website designs that work on tablets mobiles without any coding i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial let me know if you want to see more tutorials just like this i really enjoy making them it's really easy uh, to use the edit text and create uh, really cool websites just like this. Let me know what you think of Editex. Don't forget to smash the like. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials like this. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, my name is Radi, and you watch my channel. Radi.